is really weird. <laughs> Hi guys! Um, I figured I should probably do a proper introduction to my YouTube channel because I haven't done one. So you guys don't actually really know anything about me. So what I've kind of done is I've got a few facts about myself um, and I'm kind of smushing it together with the TMI tag that's floating around the interwebs. So hope you enjoy. Fact number one, uh, I'm actually a musician. Uh, I mainly play percussion, which if you don't really know what that is, it's, if you look at an orchestra, it's all the people at the back that do all the loud, bangy, hitty things. Um, one of the best per per sorry, percussionists in the whole world is Evelyn Glennie, so go and check her out, she's amazing. But other than percussion, I also play piano. I've taught myself the flute, and I'm currently teaching myself the guitar and the ukulele, but I'm absolutely horrendous at both of them at the moment. And I also sing. I wouldn't consider myself a professional singer, I just enjoy singing. And if you know me really well, then you're probably fed up of hearing my voice all the time because I constantly sing. Fact number two. I'm actually also an actress. I haven't done anything professionally yet, but I would consider myself an actress because I've been having acting lessons since the age of four with a private acting coach. And I also hope in the future um, that I can combine my acting and my music and be able to do a job where I can do both. Fact number three, I am one of the biggest Disney fanatics ever. Like, not even joking. Dead serious. I have seen literally every single Disney movie you can possibly think of. Pixar, all the old ones, everything. I love Disney. Absolutely obsessed with it. Fact number four, it's probably not very interesting, but I'm left-handed. So for all of you lefties out there, I feel your pain of not being able to use scissors properly, not being able to write properly. I just, I feel your pain. Fact number five, I can actually speak some other languages. I wouldn't really consider myself fluent. I'm fairly fluent in French. I've been speaking that since the age of I want to say seven, so I would consider myself fairly fluent in that. I can also speak Italian. Uh, haven't spoken it in a few years, but I've been learning that since the age of 12. And I can also speak Mandarin Chinese. I haven't spoken that in about five years, and I've only really learnt it for about three or four years, so I'm absolutely horrendous at that, but I can speak Chinese. Fact number six. I am obsessed with film and TV. I have such a big DVD collection here. I watch so many films. I watch so many TV programmes. But I'm not just obsessed with actually watching the film or the TV show, I am obsessed with soundtracks as well. As a musician, I can just sit there, watch the film, and every time I just fall in love with the soundtrack because the music is so important to film and TV. Some of my absolute favourite TV shows at the moment, I'm obsessed with Once Upon a Time, one of the best TV shows in the world. I also love Doctor Who, Sherlock. Oh, what else am I obsessed with? Friends. Absolutely love that TV show. That is never ever gonna get old. Big Bang Theory. On point. So good. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, 
too many TV shows for me to even begin to mention. Um, classics that don't even exist anymore, obviously, other than Friends, Firefly, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, things like that. Really good. Films? Oh my gosh. Disney films just in general. Awesomeness. The Harry Potter series? Epic. Hunger Games? Brilliant. Uh, I don't know. I just... I love everything. Give me a film, I'll watch it. I, I will literally watch anything from action to romance to sci-fi. Just anything and everything. Fact number seven. Now I've mentioned that I'm a fanatic for Disney. I've actually only been to Disneyland twice and that's Disneyland in Paris. And the first time I went was when I was 17 and that was actually on a school trip. That was absolutely amazing and I cried when I met my all-time massive hero, Winnie the Pooh, because I've loved that character since the day I was born and actually getting to meet him in real life was the best thing you could possibly imagine. It was just, it was amazing. Let's see these TMI tag questions. Ooh, have you ever been in love? I'm, honestly, I'm not really sure. I've had crushes and there's a person who I've had very, very strong feelings for, but I'm not sure how far I would go as to say whether I've ever been in love with him or not. Have you ever had a terrible breakup? This is something for you. I'm currently 21 years old and I've never had a boyfriend. So I've never had a terrible breakup because I've never had a breakup. Do you have any tattoos? Nope. Do you have any piercings? I'm so boring. No tattoos and the only piercings I've got are my ears. I, I've been thinking about getting my ears pierced for a second time though because I literally, I only have them pierced once. Favourite bands? Wow. Um... This is really hard. Mm. I don't know. I have, if you look at my iPod, I have the weirdest mixture. I have anything from classical music. So I've got things like Beethoven, Holst, Mozart. I've got those things on my iPod. Then I've got things like Bon Jovi, uh, Guns N' Roses. Then I've got things like Rascal Flats, Ca uh, Carrie Underwood, and then I've obviously got soundtracks. So I've got loads of John Williams and Hans Zimmer. I've just, and then I've got things like Ed Sheeran. I've got Demi Lovato. I've got Katy Perry. I have the weirdest mixture. How old are you? I've already said that. I'm 21. My zodiac sign. I'm a Scorpio. My birthday is the 9th of November. My favourite colour is pink. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I have so many things that are pink and one of my housemates hates pink. So every time she comes into my room, she's like, I can't even believe you because I my bed sheets are pink, my laundry basket's pink, my phone cover's pink, my iPod is pink. It's just pink everything. The last book you read. I've just finished Me Before You by Jojo Moyes and that is absolutely incredible. It's so good. I cried so much. I haven't seen the film yet, but I really want to because Sam Claflin. Yeah. Definitely. So the next books that I'm going to read, there are two. I haven't decided which one I'm going to read yet, but I'm either going to read Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher or Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson. I've got a whole bunch of books on my shelf, but I'm 
narrowing it down to those two that I have to choose between to read next. I'm really excited. The last show you watched? Mm, Once Upon a Time. I watched lots of Once Upon a Time last night. I think I was behind by about three episodes, so I just binge watched it all last night. Favourite food? Oh, does chocolate count? I don't know if chocolate counts. If it doesn't count, then I'm a big sucker for pizza. Pizza's my fave, probably. But I love a whole bunch of things. Can't be a Sunday roast. Awesome, especially Yorkshire puddings. Mm, so good. I also love a good burger. Burgers are pretty awesome. Sausage and mash. Mm. That is one of my go-to meals. I absolutely love sausage and mash. Awesomeness. A place I want to visit. Hmm. I would love to go to the States. I've never ever been to America. I'm not sure whereabouts in America I would want to go. There are quite a lot of places. Because I, I love the country and I love the city, so I would love to go to big cities like New York or Los Angeles. I also love sort of the countryside and the and the beautiful scenery and things, so I, I don't really know. I'd also quite like to go to Canada and Austria. I would love to go to Austria. Favourite flavour of ice cream? that's a difficult one because I'm such a sweet tooth if you put any flavour of ice cream in front of me I would eat it like that I'm a I love ice cream I'm such a sweet tooth last song you sang it was actually how far I'll go from Moana that's a good film very good film what instrument do you play um well I've kind of answered all of that so how about an instrument I'd like to play I would quite like to learn to play the saxophone because that is a beautiful instrument if I had to play a stringed instrument I would love to learn to play the cello my housemate plays the cello and she is beautiful at it I'd also quite like to learn a brass instrument my younger brother plays the french horn and that's a really cool instrument so Maybe I'll ask him to teach me. I'll probably be, be rubbish at it though. It looks really hard. Hmm. Maybe I should go for something really exotic. Maybe the harp. The harp would be quite cool. Or the bagpipes. The neighbours would love that. That was just a short introduction to me. I hope to see you around soon. If you have any ideas for videos that I should do, then comment below. This channel's gonna kind of be quite general. I'm gonna be putting a lot of music related things up, but I'll also do vlogs. I'll also do lots of Q and A's if you want me to. I'll do, oh, I don't know. I'll, I'll do lots of things. I could do a day in the life of. I can... I'll do whatever you fancy, basically. I hope to see you guys around soon. And see you later. 